Welcome everyone to Book of Dawn IOTH Academy. I'm your game master, Tormented by Gnomes. Joining me on today's episode, we've got Crowen, Lemon Kiwi, and Necra. Crowen, how are things today? Things are good, and I'm ready to uh, die in game because <laughs> things are gonna blow up. I'm sure. All right, that you know, honestly, you should be prepared for that. That's just a good thing <laughs> to prepare for. Uh, who's getting XP? XP? Is someone getting XP? Who's getting it? Uh, is chat getting XP? XP? Why does XP? it say plus one XP? Everything looks like it's working correctly on my side. I like XP. XP chat? Oh, Who's the muted? Chat's muted. Wow. <laughs> All right. Oh. Hold on. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, oh we got trolled. Oh, no, we're Damn, we got trolled by chat in the first minute. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Chat is absolutely popping oh they want it's because oh, they want there ninja. are no robot ninjas <laughs> in ioth academy yet not yet 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 <laughs> all right Ander crossover is almost here maybe <laughs> <laughs> we had a little crossover in yesterday's episode just in uh yesterday's coriander episode just saying not with this show but uh it, it's not outside the realm of possibility just saying oh uh lemon what about you how's life Good. Life is good. I always look forward to D&D, &D, so this is my little happy place. Me too, and I'm glad to hear that. That means a lot to me. I hope I don't kill you too horribly. What? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Necra, moving on rapidly. Necra, how are things? <laughs> yeah, this definitely foreshadows a whole uh, DM team kill, so just, just going to put that out there. Um <laughs> well, I'm good. I'm good. Things are good, and uh, I can't wait to... Keep sitting on the roof in the tall blades of grass I have somehow. Well, you know, I that's... I believe in you. As long as nobody wanders by with a Pokeball, you should be fine. True. <laughs> <laughs> or wait, no, I'm the trainer. Oh, Come Okay, on. well, do you have, like, a huge pile of Ultra Balls and berries? Because <laughs> Boreas is a legendary, I will tell you that much. Yeah, I, I, think, I think a, um, you know, a wooden Pokeball made out of an apricorn will do. Yes, thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> when we last left our heroes, Ioth Academy has fallen under attack by the forces of Terra Nimbus, the mighty stronghold of Vindur, sovereign of the skies, seeking retribution against their teacher, Master Ika Elnal, who defied the will of Terra Nimbus in her home, the rain village of Hrydur, and unleashed void magic upon his servants. Vindur accuses her of war crimes, and after failing to get the Academy to turn her over, he has unleashed his wrath and sent his son, Boreas, the North Wind, to exact retribution and to use violence to compel the Academy into surrendering Master Elnal. It's been a long night. The attack began at midnight with a giant bolt of lightning. Ice and snow and cold wind rushed into the great golden sphere of the Academy, and over the settlement that has been built out at the feet of the sphere for generations upon generations. After repelling an initial attack and nearly dying up in the high towers of the spire trying to come to Master Elnau's defense, our heroes rallied with their teachers. And though Master Untermuller urged them to return to their dorms and lock themselves up and seek security, Master Elnau <laughs> instead asked for their help with an almost manic look in her eye, urging them to help her lure Boreas out of the sphere using herself as bait, then use the Orb of Annihilation to kill him. Will you help me kill the son of a god, she asked. The students <laughs> rushed along with her on a flying carpet, leading outside into the refugee settlement where they now are scattered. But they have witnessed firsthand the might of Boreas, whose scourging icy winds are strong enough to fell any of them, perhaps in a single blow. Now, they lurk around the refugee camp as Master Elnau prepares to confront the son of Vindor. Also, there's werewolves. Just, you know, FYI, there's a bunch of werewolves. Oh, that's right. The Master oh, yeah. of Transmutation tried a spell that was a battle spell that went wrong because they were interrupted in the middle of the ritual, and a bunch of mages turned into werewolves. <laughs> Hopefully... They'll focus their attacks on Boreas, but there's no guarantee because their minds have been taken over by this bestial <laughs> transformation. 
there is at least one important detail that I've left out, but we're going to do that when we get to Alexander's turn. Until then, have we covered anything? Have I missed anything else aside from the important thing we're going to cover on Alexander's turn? Uh, could you remind me just quickly what buffs I got? I know I have mage armor from leg day and then that's the only one I recall. Crowen? Did, Crowen, did you I give did it? give guidance. Guidance. Oh, yeah, guidance. Okay. So that's plus one D four on a skill check. Yep. All right. Can we think of anything else? Don't think so. Okay. Alexander. You stand atop this roof right over here. Yep. Your allies, two of them are still on the flying carpet. Ariana has used her magic to give life to tall grass in which she can hide over here. You looked across the way into the top window of a nearby home and saw there a mirror. And on the other side of that mirror is a face from your childhood. She hasn't aged a day. Her hands on the other side of the mirror, pressed up against it, screaming soundlessly and pounding against it. What do you do? We are in combat. Yeah. Uh, Alex catches eye of the situation is like, what? How? Naomi? How? I it just looks to the mirror and then back to Boreas and then to the mirror again and just probably calls out Naomi? The party can hear this. Whether or not the girl in the mirror can hear it, it's hard to tell. She's still pounding on the other side, looking directly at you. You see her mouth scream out a word. Roll a perception check, please. Crow it. Okay. 20. Dirty 20. It's easy to tell. She's calling out your name. Oh boy, yeah, that'll that'll do it. Alex will take a deep breath, take a couple of steps back, and then try to run and jump through the window towards okay. the mirrors. Roll an athletics check. And hold on, chat's already burned through like everything, <laughs> everything at this point. So I got to do some quick accounting. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Is there unless. Any reaction for the carpet to like catch him if he falls if we if he falls sure okay is chat giving you any disadvantage uh hero doing something heroic i think this counts roll this check at disadvantage please disadvantage mm -hmm. chat gave disadvantage <laughs> to a hero doing something heroic <laughs> athletics right mm -hmm. <laughs> 10 a 10 you're trying to clear a 10 foot gap that's just enough to land and catch yourself on the window by your arms. Uh, also, this is not an action. This is just movement. So yep. that's 25 feet of movement. You could use the last five feet to climb all the way inside the room if you'd like. Oh. Uh, yes, Alex would like to do all right, so. Go ahead and move yourself into the chamber. Uh, Alex takes a few steps back, you know, leaps catches on barely struggling he's not very strong at all struggling to kind of mm -hmm. pull himself up just barely and um i mean he's in, in the room is it still the same uh same same visual naomi in the mirror yes the room is unfamiliar whether or not this is a part of town with that you've ever journeyed to i'm not sure but you've seen this mirror once before and it was in an underground sort of sub level chamber not this second story your surroundings are not richly appointed. They are uh, bric-a-brac, little bits and pieces, oddities, like, like a pack rat or, or a jackdaw gathering shiny things. 
just stuffed all over the place into this room. You see tears streaming down her face as she's trying to tell you something, but again, you can't hear. Like Alex just kind of reach out a, a hand, and is the mirror within like touching this? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Yeah. Okay. I would try to just like touch the mirror and see if anything happened. Cold metal. Even though you see her hand exactly on the other side where you're touching, all you feel is the sheen of the mirror itself. Is it immediately obvious? I mean, I, I guess it would be, but to discern like, there, there's some kind of magic in, in this mirror, but like to discern like what type? Um... You would need to roll Arcana in order to see if you know anything about mirror magic in general, or you would need a detect magic spell in order to actually see the yeah. spell matrices at work so you could discern them. Well, don't have the latter, so Arcana check it will be. Okay, this is an obscure topic. Uh, you do not have disadvantage on this. This is a flat roll. Okay. Nine. Nine. I mean, you know that mirrors can be used as, as a focus to scry, to see, far, you know, do clairvoyance and scrying, like pondering an orb. But in this particular case, you're not familiar with this magic. And the reflection of the room on the other side, it looks like everything else around you is reflected as if this was an actual mirror. The only difference is that Naomi's on the other side of this and you don't see your reflection in it at all. Alex will say, Naomi, I can't, I can't, I can't hear you. Can, you. can you hear me? Can you hear me? Well, an insight check, please. 14. 14. You don't think she can hear you. She's doing that thing that you do when you're on a call and... and... Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, how large is this mirror again? It's a full-length dressing mirror. And the edges are made of ivory and inscribed with runes. Ooh. Familiar runes. Ioth's runes. Alex, upon noticing, probably distracted with this whole situation, and noticed there's runes until now, will turn his attention to them and try to read them. Okay. Roll an arcana check with advantage. No! Nine. You're the chosen one! <laughs> Imago, I bind and abjure you that none may pass through this mirror except by my blessing. And there's a very complicated spell formula at the bottom. Those are the runes along the top, and there's a very complicated spell formula along the bottom. And as she sees you reading, she points down at the bottom, the runes at the bottom, and is trying to say something. Uh, Alex looks and sees if he can make out anything of, you know, what she's saying by reading her lips. Okay. Uh, Roll one last perception check. Okay. And then that's too many things. Your turn. Yeah, is it's a lot. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. He read those words. He read those words down there. Okay. All right. And that will do it for Alexander's turn. Garnet, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Probably was like focused on what Elnau's doing, the spear, and then just sees Alex 
yeet across and it's just very confused and i'm guessing alex looked probably i don't know were you probably stressed looking or just determined yeah. or definitely definitely like shocked like in, in disbelief like what like how and then probably flashing between pretty stressed and then a moment of determination before he before he jumped yeah Ooh. some weird stuff happening probably thinking probably we'll have to check in soon about that but probably gonna use this this action to can i do a help action for l now absolutely do you want to help her control the sphere yeah roll an arcana check as you focus your mind, empty your soul, you have guidance. Is 23 oh. not good? <laughs> if you were acting alone to try to control the sphere, it wouldn't be enough. You're not acting alone, but you can feel the void within you, the shadow that you cast resonating flowing out through the very fabric of reality to that whole almost attuning to it so strong that you're so close to not even needing ill now you might not even need to wait for her if okay, you were just well, I, a little stronger <laughs> Ooh. okay you assume direct control of the sphere how does this work? As an action, it levitates in one direction of your choice. What is your intelligence modifier? Plus five. Plus five? You can move the sphere 25 feet. Oh, oh but if it gets close to her, that's bad. Is there like a damage? Only if it passes through her square. If it doesn't pass through her square, it's fine. You want to move it there? <clears throat> Which one's technically closer? <laughs> this one is probably closer right here. This that top one? Uh, no, the, okay. the bottom one, I'd honestly say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> now looks at you for a moment, obviously impressed. Your guidance has been expunged. You've used it. That was your action. What would you like to do with your movement? You're still on the flying carpet. So if I leave... The carpet, am I, what happens to the carpet? You're the one who said yip yip, right? Yeah. Okay. So you don't even have to be on the carpet to command it. Um, it just moves according to your spoken directions. So you can jump off and still tell it what to do. Probably want to just go a little bit over to check, try, like any LOS on... Okay. Uh, Alex. You want to stay on, stay on board and move in that direction? Yeah, if we can just move the whole carpet then. Yep. And All right. Just probably At try and see what's wrong with Alex. As it lowers down, you can see him mostly obscuring a large mirror. We can interact on a free... Mm -hmm. Yeah, talking is a free action. Alex, what are you doing? Uh, Alex probably at this point just trying to look at, at, at the the runes that are below and turns around to Garnet and says there's I uh, someone I know is stuck in this mirror and I need to get them out do we see Naomi or is... oh XP <laughs> now you get XP not unless he steps aside <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll just take his word for it. Uh, what what do you need us to do? I, I, I don't know yet. I'll, I, I don't know. Okay, then I'll just, um, end my turn and just have the shadow, um, is it a shadow's turn, right? Yeah. Oh, XP again. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just handing this stuff out like hotcakes. The shadow moves on your turn and it can move up to 40 feet. Okay, it doesn't I'll have fly. Him, I'll have him stand in front of me and use a dodge action. Okay. Sounds good. Catching bullets. That's just as well. 
for it is now Boreas's turn, unless you had anything else you wanted to do. Nope. Okay. Boreas changes from a whirling column of wind into his true form with a beard and wild hair of ice. He fires a single arrow from his bow directly at your shadow. A 16. It hits. Even on the dodge? Or how does dodge work again? Oh, he has disadvantage on the attack. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see if he, if chat, yeah, chat gave him advantage though. Chat gave him inspiration. So we're just going to oh, let that one ride do. and eat his, his uh, inspiration. Yeah, that is a hit. The cold damage only does half damage, but the magic damage, the arrow is magical. So Noir explodes. Unlucky. Your shadow takes the hit for you and is banished. That is the end of Boreas's turn because he shapeshifted and he fired his bow. That will be it. Now it is the werewolf's turn. Chat gave them a treasure, a big cartoony slab of meat for the accidental werewolf mages. So they happen to have come across a, a butcher's shop somewhere back here. So the ones who are immediately closest to you are not going to attack or really do anything at the moment. They're going to be distracted by this feast. The two that are closest to Boreas, because they maintain some semblance of their original personalities, are going to rush forward in an attempt to close to combat distance. This one has to roll a athletics check as it leaps across the alleyways to make its way over. Is that a... Oh, a natural 20. Okay. All right. <laughs> and they did get disadvantage, so I'm going to roll again and take the worst of the two. A oh, six. Oh. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so this werewolf actually falls to the ground and takes on the jump take seven points of damage. Neither of them are close enough to attack Boreas and the two who are closest to you are temporarily distracted, giving you a reprieve from having to deal with them. But if you don't deal with them, they are inclined to attack the closest thing. So beware. All right. Shit. I believe you have a couple of healing boosts. Uh, let's see, two for Boreas, one for Untermaler. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to immediately go ahead and heal Boreas. Did he even take damage yet? Oh, uh, he took a lot of damage in the previous fight. Remember he got hit with a disintegrate spell? Oh yeah. Some fireballs, some other stuff. And after the werewolves end their turn, Boreas will use a legendary action. He stares coldly, hatefully, disdainfully at the werewolf directly in front of him rolls a perception check or it rolls a constitution saving throw a 16 it Good. fails oh <laughs> oh no okay okay and he freezes it solid with his gaze until the start of his next turn it is petrified He's used one of his three legendary actions. It is Athalor's turn. Athalor seems very focused, very, very focused at the moment. He, let's check the range here. 65. Athelor is going to leap off the carpet. Run 15 feet up this direction. Make an athletics check to leap across. Not his best stat. Onto Ariana's roof. A 
Uh, a four. Fortunately, chat gave him inspiration earlier for doing something cool last time. An eight. Athelor is going to attempt to make the jump, but instead fall down onto a heap of barrels. However, while he's still mid-air, let's see if the math on this checks out. While he's still midair, he looks directly at Boreas with a strange, almost unsettling focus. And I'm really trying not to get Ariana with this. Uh <laughs> <clears throat> I... Everyone's doing like parkour shit. <laughs> Set us like carpet. No, okay, he he can't avoid hitting Ariana with this, so he's not going to do it. Unlucky. Ooh. Instead, oh. he's going to <sighs> unleash romantic. a mental attack on Boreas. Like Uncle cares. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, slightly <Fair>. cares. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle uses feeble mind on Boreas, attempting to Ooh. erase his brain. Level fucking eight? Boreas makes an intelligence saving throw. But first, Boreas takes 46 psychic damage. All right, he automatically takes 15 points of psychic damage and he rolls an intelligence saving throw. That's a natural one. Oh, shit. <gasps> Jack gave him advantage. He's going to use it. Uh, oh. I thought he had like legendary resistances or something. Oh, if he uh, failed that, he was going to use his legendary resistances yeah, okay. next. <laughs> okay. He successfully avoids having his intelligence and charisma reduced to zero. Or to one, actually. Athlor falls onto some barrels and takes one point of damage. That will do it for Athalor. Top of the round, Ariana, it is your turn. Wait, did Elna not go? I don't think, I don't think Elna went. No, All right, one sec. Did not. Doot, 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 doot. Glorious doot. went, Garnet went, Werewolves went. Elna was supposed to go next. Okay. Given that you just absolutely wrecked with the sphere, Master Elna is going to... Because you moved it by herself, she doesn't want to focus on it because she kind of needs you to be contributing towards it instead of doing it. Uh, yeah, okay. She is going to use her action to contribute to the next effort to move the sphere. Let's see if she has anything in the tank right now. Any sphere-related shenaniganry to attack Boreas has disadvantage. Okay. She makes an arcana check, and she gets 20. All right. That's not good enough to do it, but because she's trying to combine her efforts, she's just going to wait for your next check instead. And that was disadvantage, or that was disadvantage on that. And as a bonus action, she's going to summon a shadow hound. Oh. Yo, teach me that one. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, wait. This wasn't in the lesson. <laughs> yeah. She summons a hound of ill omen directly next to Boreas, uh, which is taking me a moment to find, but that's fine. I'll just grab this dog. I'll make the dog less adorable. And oh, ominous. Like that, that's not particularly ominous, but we're just going to have to let it ride. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. And she's going to move under here to get cover between her and Boreas. I'm just going to... And then Athor took his turn. Ariana, start taking your turn while I look up exactly what this hound does. 
Okay. I guess the first thing I would do is like, um, if I've been paying any attention to what's been going on on the the roof or yonder, uh, probably just kind of yell out like, "Hey, Alex, is is everything okay?" Um, for now, just uh, you can focus on the fight. It's all right. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah okay. Okay. Oh. Sure. Uh. Oh, crap, what do I do? That's... You need me to come get you? Okay, I, yell. I, <laughs> maybe? It's kind of kind of hard to see where everybody is. I, I, I don't think I really thought this through with the whole grass thing. I kind of just thought it would give us some cover. I don't really know where anyone is right now. Is that Boreas? Oh my god, is that Boreas? And a dog! <laughs> Two werewolves. Athor's on the ground, and Alex is looking in the mirror. Yeah, okay. Mirror, werewolves, right. Yep. There's a girl in the mirror that he's talking to, I think. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to know that. Well, he, he said, oh, no, he said there's a girl in the mirror. Well, he said he'd be fine, so I, I guess I'll focus on, on oh, God, uh, not, not, not Boreas. Uh, I, I, who, I don't actually know who this guy is. That's not the big Boreas dude. Who's, who's the winged creature? Is that Elno? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, Elno's oh. the winged creature. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me put a, make that a little more obvious. <laughs> oh, she's on our side. Oh, good, good. Okay. Yeah, allies, fuck. Uh, well... I, I guess what I'll do right now is um I don't really feel like I can I can do anything against Boreas. He's he's kind of dealing with some werewolves. Well, no, you know what? He's dealing with some werewolves right now. I guess I'll send a scorching ray his way. Yeah. Not a bad choice. So you're gonna cast yeah. a level two scorching ray? Yeah. Alright. Your first ray. Misses. Okay, you do have inspiration I... in the pot if you'd like to use it. Your second ray also misses. Your third ray also misses. Oof. You have inspiration if you'd like to spend it on any of those. I will spend it on one. Okay. Go ahead and... Roll again. We're gonna take that first to nine. If it the nine on the damage, if it hits, it's a hit. Ooh, ooh. Nice for nine points of fire damage. Very nice. I hope that helps. <laughs> I hope that helps. Also, hope he doesn't come after me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, that was well done. You've used your action. You've talked. Is there anything else that you want to do? I don't think I can do anything else. Okay. So I guess I will I will wait. I will wait. Boreas uses a legendary action. After he gets hit by fire, he erupts into an icy whirlwind. A terrible gale of freezing wind sprays out in all directions from him. All creatures within 20 feet have to roll a saving throw. Which does not include El now. Not the doggo. It does include the doggo. And then he flies directly next to you. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Clearly enraged. And this is what the tall grass is for. He can't, he can't see me. <laughs> can't see John Cena. <laughs> All right, so Cannot this werewolf see. automatically takes some damage. Um, Crowen, why don't you do me a? F Actually, uh, that werewolf is all the way down on the ground, so he wouldn't be hit. Lemon, go ahead and just roll one d twenty for this, this dog's the shadow dog's attempt to evade the damage. That is a failure. The Shadow Dog takes 20 points of damage, and chat already gave the goodest of boys a healing boost, so we're going to cash that in immediately for plus 7 health. All right. 
Alexander, it's your turn. You hear screaming outside. What would you like to do? Uh, Alex's focus is on the bottom of the mirror, trying mm -hmm. to decipher, piece together anything of, of what that's about. Okay. Your friends are going to die. Without your help, you're leaving them. You are failing them. I have to pick and choose now, do I? She dies or they die? Oh, it seems like she's been completely fine for the last five years. Hasn't been that harm, hasn't changed one bit. What's a little bit longer going to do? The choice is always yours, Alexander. It is. Though I'd hate to see the look on her face when you turn away from her. Alex does for a moment turn around and, and, and look at Garnet. And then turns back to the mirror. And tries to, yeah, determine what's on those the bottom runes. Okay. Roll an Arcana check, please, with advantage because runes. Fifteen. 15. Okay. This is a complex mathematical formula with some basis in dimensional theory and infernal magic. It is a transposition that shifts somebody from one side of the mirror to the other. Roll an intelligence saving throw, please. Flat. Okay. Uh, 10. Ten. Okay. You've never learned about mirror magic at Ioth Academy, aside from using them as foci. According to this spell formula, there is another world behind this mirror, but it's not a complete world. It's it's almost just like a like a unidimensional world. It's it doesn't have the full four kingdoms to it. It's it's like a fragmented partial world tangled up in the interwoven connectivity of the four kingdoms. Very small, very restricted. Uh, does Alex have any idea how, say, the knife would... I mean, we don't even have the knife, do we? Uh, who has the knife? Does Athlor have the knife? I suspect yeah. Athlor has the knife. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, would Alex have any idea how the knife might interact with this mirror if it were to be cut? Would, would it, it shatter like... the enchantment on the mirror? Again, this guess... is very complex. Very. Yeah. Athelor might be better at this stuff because he took planar metageometry in a few earlier years. But even this wouldn't have been covered in that class. It's just hopefully, is this. Is the mirror itself this alternate reality, this demiplane? Is it just a conduit point? Does it have, like, if you shatter the mirror, are you killing her and destroying her reality? Are you mm -hmm. freeing her from the enchantment? Are you just cutting the link that could let you get her out? You do not know. Yeah, Alex is kind of torn between, like, but thinking of, of solutions. That is yeah. an incantation down there. That is specifically an incantation. From infernal origins, with, with some Ioth infernal elements to it, okay, like, like someone borrowed bits and pieces of infernal magical theory for it. Ah, mm. uh, I think Alex uh, reads these these runes, tries to understand uh, what's what's going on, and 
I think seems <sighs> feels like he like he can't do anything at the moment and to the mirror and frustration is says uh, Naomi I don't I'll, I'll 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 be back I'll get you out of here and then kind of puts his his hand to the mirror as he's like turning away and she slowly sobs away. and screams and pleads with you and slams on the other side silently the mirror doesn't move a single inch Alex will walk towards the window and he'll like go to take a look back at the mirror or at least like start to but then just closes his eyes and slightly shakes his head and jumps onto the the carpet okay and turns to Garnet and says we can we can deal with it later I don't I don't know what to do right now let's just let's just try to help let's just let's kill Boreas we can come back I nod and point to Ariana it's kind of stressing the fact that she's she's in danger <laughs> I'm about right. to get fragged. Right, right. Okay, all right. Let's see. Um, Alex, without thinking too much, is just going to Eldritch Blast Boreas. Okay. Roll one attack with your Eldritch Blast against Boreas. 21. Ooh. 21 for nine points of force damage. Yep. It slams into him and he howls with an icy rage that freezes Ariana's skin. Just the sheer exhalation, the grass that you're standing in goes completely rigid, frosted over, ready to snap at the slightest inclination. And let's see, Boreas has not taken a turn yet, so he doesn't have another legendary action. That's good. Okay. Right. <laughs> it is now, unless you have anything else, it is Boreas's turn. Oh. <sighs> and nothing, nothing else. Probably just, uh, I mean, turns to Garnet. And says, just be, be ready if he looks over here. Elias, maybe get her, try to get her, get him away from Ariana. Ariana, Boreas, the son of Vindor, looks into this freezing grass. You can feel its life being snuffed out by the relentless cold. You can feel the shockwave passing through your magic. And as he raises his glowing, rune-covered spear of solid ice, Behold, an act of God! Bears endurance. When in doubt, tough it out. The blessing of Morco. Okay. That might be helpful. A, a little bit of toughness could be particularly useful at this exact moment. Do you have any reactions that you can use? Any spells that are usable as reactions for your defense, such as the shield spell? Definitely don't have that. Um, okay. I could absorb elements because it is an ice spear. I figured there is cold damage. That might help. First off, roll 2d6. Actually, for, for this one, roll 4d6. <laughs> you immediately gain nine temporary hit points as a, a burst of protective resolve floods your body. How dare he kill your plants? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> and now the stabbing. Oh, great. Oh. He makes Good these change. attacks at disadvantage. I forgot to do that. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> hey, hey, 
hey, yo, where's that dis? Where's that dis uh, at? <laughs> Disadvantage because of where's your cover. <laughs> Does a 17 hit? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right, you take nine <laughs> points of piercing damage. You may use your reaction to gain resistance to cold damage if you'd like. Yep, definitely okay. observing elements. So you take a total of 16 points of damage from that attack. <clears throat> and you have a healing boost here for when Necra gets rolled. <laughs> so go ahead and take that for six. And you've got one for who needs. I'm going to say that's you. So go ahead and take that for <laughs> nine. Yeah. Do I get to keep my temporary hit points? No, those die first. So subtract. Okay. You lose those nine, then you lose the rest. Okay. So I would be just back up to full. I'll take Great. It. As he stabs you again. Oh. <laughs> I forgot with disadvantage. Does an 18 hit? Yes, we, we covered that. You take uh -huh. 10 piercing damage and 9 cold damage. Uh -huh. All right. And that will be the end of Boreas's turn. His legendary actions have now refreshed. And as he's stabbing and sweeping with this spear, your cover is being demolished and annihilated by this freezing attack garnet it's your turn you can feel master elnau's mental energy pushing the sphere if you combine it with yours you may be able to move it into position so if i were to uber express necra out of the grass with a little yip yip <laughs> would she take an opportunity attack if yes. I escort her... Yes, she would. Unless you might be able to put the carpet between her, but then the carpet could be attacked. Yeah, I would allow the carpet to tank for her, but he might, you know, just tear it apart with a single stab of his spear. Who knows? I think we... Uh, how about I focus on the sphere first, see okay. what happens with that. And then plan B, <laughs> if that doesn't do the job. Okay. Roll an Arcana check to combine your might with hers. Oh, please. As your action. 18. Not nearly good enough, but because she already rolled and you're combining your efforts, what's your intelligence modifier again? Plus five. The sphere floats directly into Boreas. Boreas rolls a dexterity saving throw. Oh, he gets a natural 20. Bro, I can't. Oh, wowie. Wowie, wowie, wowie. All right. Well, you know, I'm going to give him disadvantage on this because I have a bunch of disadvantage stacked up for not giving the people their robot ninjas that they wanted. <laughs> a 15. That's a failure. Ooh. Roll 4d10. Ooh, I forgot to mention something. On Boreas's turn, he was supposed to heal 10 points of damage from his natural regeneration. But because he took fire damage last round, his healing doesn't work. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Insightful. Roll 4d10, please, Garnet. Worth it. <laughs> Would my necrotic little uh, thingamabobber... Uh, necrotic shroud? The ivory amulet add nec like necrotic damage? I don't know if this is necrotic damage. It's not. Uh, it's force damage. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Yeah. He's being... Ooh. 21 points of damage Boreas snarls as it passes directly through his leg erasing 
a chunk of his body. He falls to one knee, bellowing in pain. Boreas is bloodied. Wait, what part is erased? Part of his leg. That affect his movement? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, no, because he can fly. But if he couldn't fly, it would definitely affect his movement. He's carried by the wind itself. Okay. That was your action. What else would you like to do? Let's go yip yip, pick up Ariana. Okay. All the the lot of you? Whoever's on the carpet, you're going for a ride. Okay. Uh, The carpet's move speed is, I believe, 40. That will take 35 movement. Yes, the carpet's move speed is 40. So that will leave you with only five squares of movement afterwards. Oh, yeah. We're going to have the carpet tank for Ariana, right? Yes. I can't. Yeah, we're going to have the carpet tank for Ariana as we okay. uh, try to fuck off. Okay. You are attempting to fuck off. <laughs> roll for attempt. <laughs> roll, roll to fuck off. <laughs> you know what's really funny? I can't grab you guys without also grabbing the grass. So <laughs> oh, it's just the grass. The grass comes with, man. Yeah, Antioch has something to say about that. Boreas is going to use his reaction to make an attack of opportunity against the carpet. 23 he rips the spear as it swoops around to pick up ariana she like grabs onto the carpet it sort of is curving past him and then boris's spear tears through it right in front of your nose and your momentum cuts a huge gash in it the carpet begins to falter clearly damaged do i still get movement uh yes you still get movement but you can't move the carpet with your movement right I'm going to go with 30 movement. Mm -hmm. You can use an acrobatics check to drop down to the next, into the alleyways if you'd like. Nah. I'm going to sit here and talk shit. (laughs) What shit do you have to talk? So in this moment, she's trying to take the attention off of Alex and Ariana as they, Mm -hmm. Ariana's probably looking very messed up right now and is hoping... Alex will help with that. Uh, And she will just kind of go over and wave her arms and just be like, could have sent a a stronger son. You look look worse than I do right now. Wow. Roll an intimidation check, please. Not the most... (laughs) Not very intimidating. (laughs) Okay. He's going to use one of his legendary actions to just glare at you roll a constitution saving throw please fifteen not good enough you're petrified he freezes you solid by looking at you a cold unlike anything you have ever experienced passes through your body as you are turned to ice it's totally harmless and it ends at the start of his turn. Bitch. <laughs> okay. Well, it's werewolf time. This werewolf is no longer frozen, and both of them are going to rush. Oh, this one still doesn't. This one is still stuck on the ground. Do do do. It's gonna climb up this box, so it just barely manages to reach him. But the other werewolf is going to lash out and attack him. And it is going to make a bite attack, which absolutely fails, and a claw attack, which hits. It only does half damage because the werewolf's attacks aren't magical, but hey, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, it helps. Uh, The other two werewolves are now done with their snack and are on the move. This one prowls to the edge right here and looks over and emits an ear-splitting... The other one is also on the prowl up here to the north. It is Master Elnau's turn. Master Elnau is going to focus on the sphere. Actually, one moment. Master Elnau. Almost all of her spells are dexterity based, which sucks. 
it's honestly a problem that she needs to look into. <laughs> she is going to cast. Hmm. She's just going to cast Fireball. Isn't that going to hit Alex? Not if she's very, very careful about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and me? Wait. <laughs> Not if she's very, very careful about it. <laughs> well. Pussy Blay? Uh, I don't think she can do that without... Oh! <laughs> Yeah, no, that'll wow. blow up the carpet. She's not going to do that. She's going to cast <laughs> Immolation. Oh, she draws gone, a series it? of runes in the air. Burning light surrounds them. She pushes her hand through the matrix, twists it, and closes it. And fire erupts around Boreas, attempting to completely engulf him and stick to him, coating him like napalm. Uh, unfortunately, he gets to roll saving a dexterity saving throw, which he's really, really good at. Yeah, okay, Damn. he succeeded. He got a 30. So he takes half damage, and he doesn't stay on fire afterwards. But he still takes 15, uh, 14 points of fire damage, which will negate his regeneration. I love that. In response, Boreas will give her the glare. Is that a concentration? Nope. It's a legendary <laughs> action because he's the son of a god. <sighs> He stares at her, his eyes flash, and Master El now is, no. is immediately frozen solid. Oh, fuck. Until the beginning of his next turn. Her wolf, however, her hound of ill omen, is going to move directly up to him and attack. And I believe it actually gets a special bonus to its... Oh no, unlucky. While the hound is within five feet of, of Boreas, he has disadvantage on any saves he makes against Master Elnau's spells. Unfortunate that it didn't go in the other direction. Oh well. The wolf attempts to bite him, but he is too fast and too swift and avoids the attack. It is Athalor's turn. Athalor, under the guidance of Uncle, is going to climb up this stack of barrels here. Damn it. No, no, he can do this. He can do this. He just has to move right here. He turns towards Boreas with this dazed, strange look in his eyes. And Garnet. Garnet and Master El now alike feel an immense mental pressure rushing just past them. A psychic scream, a blast of incredible mental intensity. It's invisible, but you can almost feel it as it Ooh, flares pretty. right past you. Ooh. Oh. And every creature in that area of effect has to roll a intelligence saving throw. Oh my god, Boreas doesn't miss. He just doesn't miss. How is this happening? Damn. All right. Well, werewolves. Oh, he frags the werewolves. Just frag the allies. All he did was frag the allies. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
griefed by uncle. It would have <laughs> been real cool, but now he's killing the whole school. Athelor fucked up. <laughs> clap, clap. All right, so that is a cool 42 psychic damage to everyone who failed that save. Instantly banishing the wolf, the summoned wolf and making the two werewolves bleed from their ears and nearly die. And the great thing is it would have stunned him, which is huge, incredibly useful, but didn't work out. Uncle, dude, Uncle's supposed to be cool and everything he tries always just eats shit. <laughs> Ariana, it's your turn. You are on the carpet, and the carpet is fleeing. What would you like to do? Oh, also, at the end of Athelor's turn, Boreas is going to use... Uh, is he, though? Because that thing is stunned now. Nah, he's good. He's good. What so, would you so like to do, Ariana? So the carpet is still moving? Yes, but it's it's losing ground. It's been reduced to half speed, and it's it's fluttering and okay well i feel like hey i would kind of just get alex and go what what are we what are we gonna do about about this should i should i fire another attack at it I probably we're probably not getting through this unless we kill him so I think yeah. so. Okay. All right. I I I think maybe I'll I'll throw some throw a scorching ray at it and and maybe we can move this carpet fast enough that that werewolf over there can can tank the can tank the next attack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Scorching ray, let's go. Okay, roll 3 attacks. Okay, Ooh. one of those is Get a good on. hit. We take that. You have another point of inspiration if you'd like to use it. Yeah, I'll use it on the eight fire damage attack. Okay, go ahead and roll. Still not a hit, but you deal 18 points of fire damage to Boreas. Let's go. <laughs> nice. That's for my plants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, touch some. Other grass. <laughs> Alexander, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Okay. Uh, so the carpet's still controllable. Mm -hmm. It is All operating right. under Garnet's control. What about the password? Oh, yeah. Can Alex just yip yip and uh, <laughs> see the control <laughs> of it? Or... <laughs> Let me see. Uh, yeah, you can. But it takes your action to do so. Oh, it takes an action. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh. Does Boreas seem to like have uh, anyone as as his target right now? Like looking at anyone in specific? Or <laughs> I don't know. If it... Um. Well, he did just get shot with fire. He is somewhat yeah, bloodied true. and beaten, and there's a sphere of annihilation slowly trying to devour his existence. So he's he's definitely focused on. And whoever annoyed him last or Master L now. So that would be me. Yeah. Okay. Alex <laughs> is going to yip yip. Okay. And <laughs> the carpet's <laughs> move speed has been cut in half to 20 because it's so damaged. Yep. Um, so wants to try to move the carpet to the edge of this <clears throat> building. Mm -hmm. Um, to the left a little bit and a little bit downwards so that we are not in line of sight. Okay. Down like into that alley. I get it. Yeah, into the into the alley. Um so all right, good good job, Ariana. Good hit. Thanks. Now we hide. Okay. <laughs> good idea. It's a legitimate strategy. Anything else? Any bonus actions, etc. from Alexander? Uh Nothing besides. Are there any windows on this side of the uh, the building that the, the mirror is in? Uh, it goes into a different room in the house. Okay, but yeah, yes. he'll still look towards it. But okay, just for, yeah, you, you know, don't yeah. see the mirror from this side. But that is it for Alex's turn. Okay, it is Boreas's turn. <laughs> With this 
Werewolf stunned and unable to attack. He is going to ignore it. S- fly over here and stab down once with his spear at Athalor. Where is he? Oh. And he, it's over because he has the high ground, so he's going to make this attack with advantage. <laughs> oh, no. He drops Athalor with a single strike. Huh? Athalor is now dying. So what happened while I was gone? You died. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually oh, off the no. show. <laughs> This is, this is a, a secret plan to, to cut you. And then he flies over to Master Elnal and attacks her with the ice spear. No longer... Oh, uh, yeah, he's flying. He can have advantage. A 22 to hit. He stabs Master Elnal for 31 points of damage. Reducing her almost to half health in a single blow. Master Elnau snarls at him in a using a language you have only begun to understand, Garnet. And he instantaneously takes 12 points of necrotic damage as Ooh. dark power courses through him. Thusly harmed? Let's see, he was here. He moved here for 15, here for 25. His move speed is 120. He shoots straight up, straight up into the air. Almost 100 feet, just 95, soaring into the sky. And El now screams, no, no, not again. Garnet, it's your turn. You are no longer frozen. He is essentially 95 feet away from you. Oh, he's like up, up. Yeah, he went up. He's running. He's running? He's running. He's escaping. He's badly wounded. And he is leaving. After Elnau got him with that void speech... He has chosen to depart beyond the reach of his enemies. She did, would she get an opportunity attack? She would if she had a melee weapon, which she, she doesn't. Fu- I thought, oh, she got a fucking spear. I thought, oh, <laughs> that's <fuck>. just. <laughs> uh, so ninety. Oh fuck. Uh, would would Una have have like any indication? Uh, like what? Like what happened to Una? Uh, didn't you have Una hanging out with Master Elnel? Yeah, and then I forgot then about her. Una's with Master Elnel. Do you want Una to make an opportunity attack? Let me see what a raven does. Because <laughs> I think I had her as a, a raven. Yeah, but the Text thing about that is I think Una's stats actually remain the same in all forms. I wasn't sure if she had special actions. Yeah, her... Her attack remains the same, no matter what form she takes. It's that sting, that bite. Oh, so I just okay, popped I her we'll up. <laughs> if you want to, yeah. If you want to take a parting shot, go for it. Okay, I just roll from one d twenty plus what? Uh, uh, if you oh, if you shift double click on Una, you can actually just click on Una's character sheet to make the attack. Okay. Lit it up. It's loan forever. And then just click sting. 14 is not enough to hit. Who? Uh, that would have been on his turn when he soared up hmm. into the sky. So now it's your turn. You have Una. You have yourself. He's 95 feet away. What do you want to do? Could he deliver a... Could Una deliver a certain spell for me? Can Una move 90 feet in one round? Is a raven a... Uh... Fly speed of 60 feet. That means Una could move, dash, and then use Una's reaction to deliver a touch spell for you. Yeah, can we try that for funsies? Sure. The raven 
soars directly up, following this trail of, of fog emitting from the sun of Vindor's wake. Full speed straight up. And what spell are you going to channel through your familiar as the unearthly cold sloughs off of your body? A touch of twilight. Okay. Oh, uh, what kind of damage does that do? Necrotic. Good. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't cold. That wouldn't be very helpful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Roll an attack spell. Okay. <laughs> Nine. That is not good what enough to hit. I know. Should I lucky die? I have one left, but it's if your it... call. Uh, these people leaving. Let's try it again. Okay, burn your last lucky dice and roll again. We're taking the first attack, unless it's a crit. <sighs> we'll take the first damage. Oh! <gasps> you hit him for 12 is. points of necrotic damage. Is your shroud active? Uh, I was... No, because I used it in the last combat. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long that lasts. What about your ivory my amulet? What does that do? Uh, the uh, the uh, plus something. <laughs> Sorry, That's I don't know. Good. Is it a plus? But didn't we do like plus four for a decronic? I forgot what we did before. Plus four. He's still not dead. But exhaustion? Ooh, he does have to do a save against exhaustion, right? It just says if it hits, it's one point of exhaustion. Mm. On the ivory amulet? Uh, the touch of twilight. Does that? Oh, on a hit, they just gain one level of exhaustion. Okay, well, he's exhausted. He has penalty. He has disadvantage on all of his saving throw. Oh, not his saving throws. His ability checks. Is there anything else that you can do? On uh, your probably turn? just move towards friends. Jump down onto the carpet, which is hovering in the alleyway. Yeah. Or okay. uh, what's El now doing? Actually, is she just injured over there? It's on. It's her turn. She's looking up and screaming at him. Are the, she's the angry werewolves that are he's stunned? Fleeing. Right? Are the werewolves are stunned? Maybe I'll. Walk this one's over fucking here. dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one is lying oh. on the ground with blood leaking out of its ears and its eyes. The other one is stunned. Can I try and jump? Oh no, jump is an action. If I no, want to like go help. Jump is part of your movement. Or? I want to go help Athlor. So okay. what am I? You can climb 25? down onto that box. So you've used your action, but you can climb down onto that box and end your turn in this square right here, if you'd like. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. All right. And that is it for your turn. It is now the werewolf's turn. This werewolf right here that is reeling from psychic shock is going to make a new saving throw. It remains stunned. This werewolf up here sees prey bloodied and it leaps down, runs over and attacks Garnet who stands huh? between it and its prey. It swipes at you with its claw and scores a natural 20 for 13 points of damage. Bruh. Okay. And the, where's the other one? The other werewolf sees escaping prey and leaps down onto the flying carpet and attacks Alexander. Swiping at him with its claw. Seven completely misses. Nice. It is Master Elnau's turn. Ooh, I forgot. Boreas is going to use his legendary action whirlwind movement. Roll a dexterity saving throw for Una, please. Garnet. Dexterity saving throw? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry, I didn't have her sheet up. All good. I'm on roll 20. Are you asking? Oh, you rolled a 20. Oh. 
Oh my god, I get a 20. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. It god. works. <laughs> Let's go. All right, now do you take half damage or no damage? Uh, you take no damage on a successful saving throw. Okay, so you don't take any of that. And he flies 60 feet further into the air. And Una already used a reaction to deliver that touch spell. Now he's 280 feet away. I say, no, he was 90 feet up and he moved 60 feet up. He's 150 feet up. He's 150 feet up. You know what 150 feet is the range of? Master Elnel stands on the ground. Actually, she's going to fly straight up as fast as she can. As she does, her hands trail at her side. They're almost scratching into the air, tearing at it with friction, building up heat, fire trailing in her wake. She slams her hands together, screams in rage, and a tiny pea-sized ball of flame streaks out above the camp. And blossoms into a massive explosion. As she casts Fireball. And Boreas doesn't have the hit points to survive that. Even if he makes his save. The Fireball erupts. The son of Vindur plummets to the ground. I'd like each of you to roll 5d6, please, for falling damage. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. He takes... Oh, never do math live on air. That's <laughs> 32, 42, 47, 67 points of damage upon impact. Not enough to instantly kill him, but enough to immediately inflict a failed saving throw. He has now failed one death save. As he lands, smoldering and twitching at Master Elnau's feet. It is Athelor's turn. In the interest of not making any of you responsible for whether or not he lives or dies... <laughs> I'm going to roll 1d20. I'm going to roll a death saving throw for Athelor. Oh, please. Any natural 20s? One success. Nope. If he gets three successes, he stabilizes. Ariana, it's your turn. There is a werewolf trying to kill you. On your flying carpet. <laughs> well, uh... Great. Uh, my, and my grass is just dead, right? It is. Uh, you know what? I'm going to thorn whip it like a lion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead and roll the attack. Take that. A 13 is good enough to hit. Nice. You inflict five points of damage and you pull it closer. <laughs> hey, well, at least it's not I me mean, at Alex anymore, maybe. <laughs> maybe. And, anything else for Ariana? No. Okay. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Alexander, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Okay. Uh, werewolf in our face. That's not good. Um... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. He was already there anyway. Uh, no, which bolt won't hit the uh, the vendor blessed ones, but it may hit the werewolf. So we can try. To... And you cast that at level two, right? Because you're a warlock. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, send it. Uh, is it disadvantage anything since he's five feet of me? I don't remember. Casting within five feet. Um, of things. If it's a ranged attack within five feet, yes, it is disadvantage. Okay. Actually, Alex will, before he casts it, um, they climb onto onto this roof. Might take a attack of uh, opportunity, but that's okay. 
17 to hit for 8 damage. Yeah. All right. Gets clawed in the way, but climbs up to, to this roof. You now have and the then... high ground. <laughs> nice. And then for fairs, cast a witch bolt. You will pay the price for your lack of vision. Yeah! <laughs> Roll the attack with advantage. Oh, advantage. Roll it again just in case you crit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No crit. You did not, but we're going to take that 11 points of damage, 11. and a arc of lightning now connects the two of you, and as your action, I think, on each turn, you can just keep zapping him. Yep. All right, is that it for you? Uh, Alex will move along this rooftop, and that will be it. Okay. It is Boreas's turn. He cannot regenerate because he took fire damage. He is going to roll a death saving throw. He has failed one already. He has one failure and one success. Garnet, it's your turn. There's a werewolf, Athelor is dying, and the son of Vindur is sprawled on the ground nearby. Um, so do attacks on Boreas just automatically add a death save, or how does that work? If you hit at this point, it's if you're within five feet of him and you attack him, it is an automatic critical hit. And a critical hit inflicts two failed saving throws. He will die. Does it have to be male? Like It just has to, to be, be within five feet of him. All right, am I risking this fucking wolf just killing me? Because <laughs> uh, I have spells I could reach him. So you're saying... Your spells kind of would have advantage to hit him, but they wouldn't automatically kill him. So what would a spell, would a spell add a death save? Yes. I have disadvantage for failing to give the people robot ninjas. So this attack that the wolf makes would be made at disadvantage. If you want to coup de gras the son of a god. I can't do, but I don't have any <laughs> melee spells. I have range spells. You can but... use a range spell at point blank range. Okay, so that would let me do the double yeah, death save? You'd, you'd be standing over him, you know, John Wicking him is essentially <laughs> it. Like you'd be walking over him. Probably see him crash down to the ground. I'm going to walk over. The Start. werewolf swipes at you as you pass. Come on! Does a oh, 13 hit. Uh, so what's that mage armor add? It makes it 13 plus your dexterity modifier. Just plus one. So, so 14? you just... Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Barely misses. Oh, for like flavor. Because we're getting into that territory. Could mm -hmm. I like swipe the knife from Athelor from his body? Yeah, you and could do that as an item as interaction. Like that wouldn't even final... be, like, cheating. Oh, okay. I want to... Wait, oh, but I would have to roll, like, a strength? Oh, it's going to automatically hit them. Yeah, he's down. Oh, okay. So I'll probably grab, like... Probably, like, check on Athlor, see that he's breathing and not dead. Mm hmm But kind of eventually look at Boreas. And I kind of tell Athlor, I'll be right back. Let me just pour this. <laughs> Kind of take it from his pocket. Now I'm like severely limping because I am close mm -hmm. to death. And I just see him on the ground and I just go for cry to her. And I'm going to jab it in his forehead. Okay. He freezes. His eyes flare up. And lightning rips across the sky above you, arcing in all directions, continuously from cloud to cloud, passing back and forth. He breathes his last, a terrible, cold, fro frozen, as you kill the north wind. 
with Ioth's knife. Yeah. Let's go. We'll deal with that later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll like a slide of hand to... Oh, wait, no. He's probably in his forehead. Or is it like out? You stab it. And then you can pull it back out. Can I roll like a slide of hand to hide it? Yeah, you can roll a slide of hand to hide it. It's probably not going to work, but let's try. I clicked it. That's not going to work, is it? (laughs) Anything else? You've barely moved at all. Uh, Probably just going to... I guess I'd probably quickly turn back to Athelor. Not... Going to the wolf, though. Oh, wait, that's a roof. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll just stay here and bask in that moment before okay. going into attack of opportunity range from this wolf. Okay. <laughs> On the werewolf's turn, it begins messily devouring Athalor, who immediately takes two failed death-saving throws as the werewolf starts trying to eat him. If he fails one more save, he will die. Oh, that wasn't two saves? Oh. No, he, he crit- the werewolf takes his turn and he starts eating his kill. He oh! Does- yeah. I was th- misheard, sorry. He's eating him, what the fuck? And the other werewolf that was left with Ariana is going to attack her. Claw. Absolutely Ooh. misses the bites. Ha ha. Oh. <laughs> that is a hit. You take three points of damage, and I need you to roll a constitution saving throw, please. Wait, what? Is that say? <laughs> Am I going to get rabies? <laughs> I think that works. <laughs> roll a con save, rabies. please, Ariana. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, um, well, Ariana, as far as you can tell, absolutely nothing happens. And I'm sure that will still be the case when we come back to Book of Dawn, Ioth Academy. Don't go anywhere, folks. <laughs> <laughs>